Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm going to show you the latest from Mobile Veta Design. And this really is the very latest because it says new at the top. This is a Mobile Veta Design P86 and this will cost 103,000 euros. So, what's this got that is new? I don't know yet because I'm sure I've seen the P86 in the past. Now, Mobile Veta Design is noted for its design. It's not only in the name, but it looks really good inside. Uh, but it doesn't have a particularly good reputation as far as quality is concerned, and it's noted for falling to bits. Um, I don't know if they're using a better quality of sellotape this year, but let's have a have a look around. Anyway, this vehicle here is got this German layout at the back, conveniently laid out for us and uh, looks quite nice in this way. Below, as you'd expect, you've got storage on either side and indeed the storage can't be accessed from the top. You can only access it from the side like that. Uh, I see it's already broken when the hinges are broken down there. No, see? No, 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 it's already gone. Um, I wasn't actually going to uh, try opening it too <laughs> because of the carpet. Anyway, carpet's here just to protect it, right? There's the sink. Uh, not the sink, what's that? It's a it's a shower and it's got two uh, drainage holes in it, which is a pretty good idea. Not only that, they seem to be quite large ones. There we are looking up at like that. Yes, very elegant. If I come over here, there's a door. I shall open the door, close the door, whatever. And there you can see into the toilet. Again, really super elegant. Don't like uh, sinks like that in uh, motorhomes, but that's just me. Uh, there you go, a, a, you can see in the mirror. And if I reverse myself uh, like this, reversing in, uh, there I am, reversed into the, the shower. You can see how much space I've got. All this space, space, space. Isn't that good? Right, uh, so can't complain at that. Now, let's come out here. Face to face, and it's got a bed at the top. And I think, again, uh, it looks really, really nice. So, I've uh, got here a molded sink. I've used these sinks in the past, but I think it's very attractive. And here, we've got three burners. This company can is doing a really good job, I think, of giving elegant looking uh, cooktops. Uh, the problem is, however, that your covering doesn't, doesn't sticking up like this isn't always the most um, practical. But if you've got something like this, and if, you, if, you, if you're preparing stuff, you can chop up here and then you can put it straight into the pot. Quite good, in my opinion. Now, got a bed up here. And what is it like under the, there's me standing under the bed, I've got this, I've got, I'm 175 centimetres tall and there's still a little bit of room above my head, not a lot. So if you're uh, taller than I am and you want to start jumping up and down, maybe you need a different van to do it in. Now, it does look nice though, doesn't it? Can't, can't say it doesn't look nice. Got a fat fridge here and... Below, we have got a rather large freezer for a motorhome. Let's uh, come out and let's have a look what else is new from Mobile Vetta Design. So, this is a P64, which I'm certain is also been, has also been on the market before. As they're claiming that as a new vehicle. I don't think it is, but we'll have a look at that in a different vehicle. Here we have a integrated vehicle. Uh, I've become a fan of integrated vehicles. This thing here, you're looking at 114,000 euros. The K Yacht Trend Line 50. Bed above, skylight. Um, these, these vents I think are really good. Doesn't use much power up and it, it certainly feel the breeze quite nice unfortunately this comes with a step up here something I could do without seeing I like to see a flat floor at the back uh, but you know 
pretty elegant storage at either side storage above lovely use of lighting and once more one of these nice uh, showers and an equally nice toilet although I like to see these things closed and the kitchen is uh, somewhat the same as the one we just saw face to face sitting group bed above the uh, cabin as you'd expect in an integrated model it's got a door in the left side down here so uh, the, co the contrast between the white and the black i think looks uh, quite elegant uh, white of course is a very mediterranean color so mobile vet is an italian company um, and the dog will love it as well when the dog will be able to decorate it in a different color pretty handy Obviously not soft close. Is it closed? No. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's come up. Now, uh, one feature I do like to see, however, is a big garage, and that this certainly has a big garage, and with storage in the wall there. There you go. So, what did I say the price? This 114. I think it was 114 and a half. K yacht Techno Line. 90 sorry i said 50 it's a techno line tech like techno like 90 right uh okay so this new one here it says new and it's a p64 which i'm pretty certain isn't new uh it comes at a cost of a hundred and one thousand so somebody's closed the blind up there i'm gonna have to open it the reason I'm going to have to open it is because heat can build up behind it. Oh. There you go, that's open now. And it opens up the vehicle to the world. Don't leave them things, well it just depends on the weather of course, but it's roasting hot. Don't leave it up like that because it will end up buckling the, the, the uh, window. Uh, okay, here, very similar in the kitchen, very similar in the back, very similar fridge, all those all in different positions. This is a bit different, and look at the size of that. This bathroom certainly is new. First time I have seen it, that is great. Really like the looks of that, uh, really well done. And let's see if I can open this. There's your shower, and that goes over there somewhere. Unfortunately, it comes with one of these things. Well, these, this isn't too bad. It's not one of these little things that's gonna stick to your skin when it gets wet. But I do prefer that to be on the other side of this. Oh, perhaps you could actually pull it through. Yeah, it's quite nice, this van. The motor I should say. Um, right. That's the P64. Let's have a look in this one here, which is the Crosser 86 NB. Costs 101,500. And note uh, the uh, double floor. It's going to be quite deep in this one. Okay, so Mobile Veta is now putting in a new type of kitchen and it seems to be relatively standard. Uh, this type of fridge is somewhat old fashioned. So this isn't an old fashioned model at all. I need to point out, this is a Thetford fridge. It's only, it came out oh, I don't know, a couple of years ago, something like that. Um, but a fat fridge and the way it's designed, it is somewhat old fashioned. Now, now the trend is towards slim fridges, but it works well in this vehicle and it also gives you all that uh, storage in the all that free in the place room in the freezing freezer compartment okay we've already had a look at the uh the german layout uh, when it was set out uh, as a, a large double uh, bed and now we here see it as two singles but it's exactly 
the same as what was here before. See, somebody's just got out of bed, and there we have a look under it as well. Uh, this bit here, as I recall, actually lifts up. There you go. So it lifts up. What well, lifts up really easily, and you can get into the wardrobe from here. Should you want to, you've got a bit of storage there as well. And uh, here, if I press this down, you've got to see. There you go into your garage. And on the other side, you've got drawers as well. I'll push this down. I don't like it when it sort of comes down and makes a big bang. I'm trying to be gentle with it. There you go. Uh, go. Good. Um, let's have a look in the double floor, seeing as I'm in the I'm in the area of the double floor. There you go, double floor. Vital a double floor, I think, if you're gonna use it in winter. And uh, right, let's now uh, have a walk down. There's a P86, just seen a P86. Uh, is it the same? No, so it was piece. Can't remember now. Anyway, uh, we'll have a look on this one. Uh, so this thing here is going to cost ninety-three thousand one hundred and fifty. Uh, slightly different uh, design. It's got on. The design was sort of used uh, in previous years. So this one looks. At, uh, it's gone back to. Sorry, it's it's using this older style uh, of uh, cooking. So, but it still looks nice. Uh, sink through there, storage below, and down here as well. Keep plastic bag in there. Uh, coming back here, same as we just saw. Different shower though. This looks very much like previous year's models, and. Um, Toilet. And as you'd expect, this will close there. <clears throat> and uh, right, let's uh, have a. Well, let's come. Let's let's uh, come to. Oh, I don't know where to go now. Uh, anyway, Kia i Mobile Veta uh, i85. Uh, this thing here is going to cost 106,240. Uh, so there's a the the blue and the yellow light there, so you can have it. Uh, you can change the lights to whatever you, you feel like uh, via a remote control. Uh, this also has a sort of the older look to it. Here at the back, it's exactly the same as the one we've just seen, including the washroom. There's toilet, I should say, rather than washroom. Uh, how do I explain the difference in prices? Uh, it's, it's usually due to equipment. In this case, of course, this is an integrated van, which is going to put a fair whack of cash onto it as the front had to be made by the company uh, by Mobilveta uh, rather than getting what they using what they got from Fiat. Uh, we have here on the left hand side we've got a door there which and on the right hand side we've got a sideboard. Uh, this blind at the front is that's in an unusual position. Uh, normally it's directly at the front and uh, on, on against the wind, uh, the windscreen, and um, you know what? I think that's a good idea. Actually, putting a bit further back. Have to think about that one. Um, right, let's. So we see the, the rear end of this one here. This is a Kia i90, costs 105,343. Uh, so there we go, similar. What has it got? It's different. 
it's got a big uh, bed at the back. So as you can see, what they're doing is they're sort of chopping and ch it's a bit like a, a jigsaw puzzle as they're just chopping and changing things from one and adding them to another. Don't even know if jigsaw puzzles are the right way of doing it. They've got modular bits and putting them where they feel like putting them. Now, uh, here we've got a, uh, a door. Let's see if it works. Well, it does. Well done. It works. I know sometimes it's a bit unfair to uh, criticize things at trade fairs like this which aren't working. I've just been in a Kobe, that's Kabe, it's pronounced Kobe van, and that it didn't work in theirs. Oh dear, it's not going to... Oh, yeah, no, good well then, it's gone across. I've noticed problems with these things in Mobile Vetter in the past. It hasn't worked as well as I would have liked it to have worked. Here we have a Kia P85 at a cost of 91,627 semi-integrated vehicle uh, so meaning it's got the original front which was made by uh, um, Fiat there you go this radio for season 2024 is not available please ask your distributor uh, for the appropriate available uh, uh, radio Very similar. Uh, one thing they've all got, of course, is a mosquito net in the door. There you go. Window in the door, which I think is really useful with a blind. But no mosquito net. Do you know why? Because you can't open this window. And uh, there you go. Huge garage here. Wonderful. Right, let's have a look at this one here. So you can see it's a semi-integrated model. And this is the Kia P90. Comes at a cost of 93,969 euros. Double bed in the back, the toilet and the bathroom. You've already seen. So but there you go, there's the shower. And uh, for those not believing me that you've already seen the toilet, here it is. Oh, sorry, it's got a slightly different bowl in it. I really do think Mobile Vetter design looks great, but it's, it's, it's the reputation that put me off. Uh, the uh, face to face uh, you've got forward facing seats as well but you've got some kit to, to make it forward facing seems a bit faffing around to me but if you want face to face uh, then I think uh, that comes with part of the, the kit big garage over here which I'll open up and show you Now that's amazing, isn't it? Isn't that not? That's wonderful. So that is the Mobil Goethe design range for the new year and after the next year. And uh, you will have a look at this KY86 because we didn't go in here. And this is also new, but I, I, th I don't think it is new, but uh, let's say maybe it is. Let's have a look. And this thing here is going to cost 118,000 euros. Oh, so it's got the kit it's got there. And uh, let's come in. Actually, the design is different from in previous years. Actually, when you see the um, this German layout like this, it does sort of uh, 
give a different impression apart because we've seen it now in various forms when it's like this as, as you get it delivered except the, the mattresses will of course be in plastic bags uh, that certainly looks different and uh, see the shower is being used in most of the models and the new toilet which is the same as we've already seen Now, um, uh, Mobile Veta also produces uh, camper vans, uh, but we'll have a look at them in a different video. But I'm going to show you just around the hall a, a little bit right now to show you what else is available here. So, um, okay, there's Mobile Veta camper vans. Now, Mobile Veta is part of a large company called Trigano. And we've got several brands from Trigano in this hall. We've got brands from Trigano in other halls as well. Here we have Randger, uh, which is the same as Carmen Mobile. Uh, all the vehicles are the same. And over there we've got Challenger, which is the same as Chausson. There we've got a Roller Team, and their vans look more or less the same here as Benimar. Adria belongs to, uh, but it's uh, Trigano, uh, but it's got uh, uh, independence. Um, management so so the vehicles don't look quite the same and at the top of the range uh, for Trigano we have got this company over here which is Euromobile or Euromobile uh, and they have some absolutely outstanding vehicles in my opinion anyway uh, I thought I'd take for a little walk around just to show you the holes and uh, to give you an idea, I know today I was outside and um, somebody recognized me and he said he would come all the way from Canada uh, just to, because, thanks to me, because of me. Um, I find that a bit hard to believe that it was because of me, but or just because of me, but uh, it was very nice. So this is me, uh, serve as a little bit of an encouragement, a uh, uh, yeah, encouragement for, for you to visit an uh, event such as this. Here is Foster. Foster vehicles are only available in Germany, Austria, and uh, Switzerland uh, at present, and uh, they are very bright inside, uh, spacious, airy, um, very nice, uh, but the, the cheaper end. Uh, so, so there's a special offer for the fair. This uh, roller team camper van. This is only one of 17 halls, and I didn't take all the way around the um, hall in any case by the way this here uh, the x250 from challenger and chausson it doesn't actually come looking like this it does have a proper wall on it that's just to show you what it looks like inside oh and you can see how the bed drops down and uh, to make a bed there and it's uh, it's quite 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 well sort of spaced out I think this for this vehicle anyway we'll do that in a different do that in a different video so we'll see that <laughs> elsewhere and yes yeah, Sturkman is also a trigger no company but they make caravans not motorhomes so um, I'll bring you back to Mobile Vetter Design uh, so video was a bit longer than uh, I'd, uh, I planned on but then again I was uh, did go off on a little bit of a tangent towards the end. So how about finishing off with a look of this one, or shall I do it on the other one? Maybe I'll do it at the other one over here. Yeah, this one, which has such a nice shape to it. Oh, now it's a sign that the trade fair is over. Thank you.
Thanks for watching.